Hello there, Cancer. Welcome. Okay, this is a reading from December 2022 of what you need to know. What's going on with you guys? What do you need to know here? Let's see. Oh, justice is coming in. Libra energy. And we have the Queen of Wands, Airy Leo Sagittarius. Ooh, the Magician. And let me see. We'll just a little bit more. Okay, one thing more. So we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, someone feels trapped. And we do have, okay, someone feels really stuck here. Okay, now, first of all, Justice card. So something's coming in to make things right, make things <clears throat> just here. Libra energy. And then we have the Queen of Wands. We have Charm and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have here, oh, the little witch with the cauldron, stirring the cauldron. So someone's up to something. Someone's trying. Yeah, see, now we have that with the magician. So someone's trying to manifest something here. Hmm. Okay, Queen of Wands. My queenie here. Where's my queenie? Okay, here's a queen. Oops. Yeah. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be attracting a queen of wands here. Male or female, does not matter. Um, but someone that's very desirable. Very attractive. This could be you. You're, you're manifesting here, though. You have all the tools you need to manifest whatever you want here. So, um... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tap in to see if that energy is yours or not that feels stuck. I don't think it is. I think it's somebody else's. Okay, so let's start clarifying. So someone's hanging on to something here, and I'll, I'll know better when I get some clarifiers. What's going on with the Justice card? What is going on with the Justice card? King of Pentacles. Okay, so there could be a King of Pentacles coming in towards you with an offer to make things correct. Straighten things out that... That was not correct here. This could be a job. It might be something that you'd rather do. I almost feel like maybe you're doing something at this time that's not really made, not what you trained for or not what you wanted or, or somehow you're just not completely happy with what you're doing. So there might be someone coming in with an offer. Now, it's really weird because I also have that um, they're telling me the boss himself or herself is making the offer. Not anyone else. It's like the head honcho. If that makes sense to you. That they want to make the offer to you personally. To have a um, made better chance of you saying yes. We have here. Butterfly. Transformation. Trying to transform something here. Okay, let's get the king of pentacles. Okay, now why do we have the queen of wands here? I think you are looking really good. Um... Physically and also on paper. So, yeah. There's something here saying you're looking really good and you're manifesting a lot here. Okay, yeah. And we have someone stuck with this uh, ending that happened here. Whoa. You might be having an ex-boss trying to get you back. Trying to sweeten the pot here. Or it could be an ex-lover. Very bad ending, though. Very painful. Okay, what about the magician? Page of Wands. Yeah, someone's come in with some kind of information. And it's really going to help you. I feel like someone is going to supply some kind of knowledge, some kind of information that's going to help you to do something here. Okay, let's see. We have the key. Yes, see, they have the key. They have the information you need. There's a key. This is going to unlock some kind of knowledge that you need. So they're coming towards you help you unlock something, help you figure something out. Let me get a page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. Here's a page. Now, what's going on with the Eight of Swords? What is happening with the Eight of Swords here? Page of Swords. See? Someone's spying on you. Someone feels stuck. They want to approach you and they don't know how to. So there's someone that's really hooked on you here. Page of Swords could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it could be any sign. And we have here, ooh, yeah, transformation. We have the dragonfly. This person wants to transform. They feel like they're locked out of your life or locked out of something here. And they want to come back in. 
So they are watching you or they're asking your friends about you. They're trying to find out what's going on with you. Aquarius, Lib uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini. Now we do have, see there's some kind of conflict. And I also feel like someone is spreading rumors that are not true. Getting people up in their head. They, uh, I got this energy of someone that just likes to do this. Because when they do this, they get really happy when they see people get really upset. It's horrible. But this person's hanging on to you. Even, no matter what these people are trying to do. They, they, I think this person knows better. Maybe they didn't in the past. But now they know these people are full of it. Okay. So let's go. Oh, see. We're flying. Okay. We ha Okay, good. Seven of uh, five of swords in reverse. So this person's going to put a stop to it somehow. They're going to stop these people from doing this stuff. Because now we have the five of swords in reverse. Because we're flying out there. Okay. And then we have the king of cups. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. And we have, oh, a seahorse. This one, this is a new person coming in. And it's love at first sight. Seahorse, it says um, new, new love coming in. But I feel like this person, as soon as they see you, they just fall for you. Okay. And then we have two of wands. Oops, two of wands. And the Empress. Okay, you're... You're going to make a decision here between two people, the new person or the past person. You're leaning towards the past, even though this person looks really good here. But you aren't the Empress. This is Libra, Taurus energy. But you're coming into abundance here. You're doing quite well for yourself. And you're very creative. Could be. This also could represent a birth, birth of a baby, birth of a job, birth of a new business. Something coming in. Oh, it's going to make you really happy. Leo energy. So sun's coming in here. Okay, so now let's clarify a little more. Okay, why is a seven, I'm oh, sorry, I keep on thinking it's a seven, five of swords in reverse. Why is a five of swords in reverse? Ooh. Okay, so there is some, this is the ending to some kind of burning. This is the ending to these people, interference. Somehow, I don't know how this person is doing it, but they're, they're shutting these people up. They're putting a stop to it. They're getting really annoyed because I think they might just realize that they were, came in between you guys or did something here or started trouble. Why is the King of Cups here? See, this King of Cups is looking at how can I make this grow with Cancer? How can I... I want to start something, but I don't know if Cancer is going to accept this offer. Okay, so you do have two here. A past and a new. Why do we have the two of wands? Queen of Cups. Ooh. We have the King and Queen of Cups here. Wow. Okay, this is... You're going to be confused then. Because once this person starts charming you, you are going to be charmed. Because they mean it too. They're not just some um, blowing smoke. Here we have Queen of Cups. Let's see. Memories. Okay. Elephant Memories. I don't know. This person feels new. But they might feel like... You know them. So it might be a past life connection returning. That's what it feels like. Okay, let's see. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, what about this Empress? Why is the Empress here? Okay. Someone's coming to see you. Someone's traveling towards you. They they're almost feel like they're on a mission. They're heading towards you. They're heading your way. They might also be relocating. Uh, this person might want to take you out on, or even on a vacation, on a trip. But the person's definitely coming towards you. And we have the emperor here. Okay, we have the emperor to your empress. Might be this person coming here. Aries energy, but someone is, feels very strongly about you. And they're coming in. Okay, now. What else do we have here for cancer? What else? Four of Wands. Mm, Knight of Wands. Queen of Cups again. And the Hangman. And we have the Ace of Swords. Someone wants to speak their truth. Someone's coming towards you to speak their truth. To open up. To um, set the record straight is what they're saying to me. Because of these other people trying to um, sabotage. This person, I didn't know it before. But then was wondering why you were acting the way you were and they told you something that was not true uh, untruth and now you're getting 
they're getting to the bottom of it and they're going to come towards you to speak about this they're going to come in quick now since they know now they have something to show you some concrete evidence they actually have so they're going to come and show you that um aries leo sagittarius and we have here peacock they're coming in very proud good looking too and they're going to make sure they look really good when they come see you. Okay, let's get the Knight of Wands here. And this could be a male or female. Okay, now we have the Queen of Cups. Again. So that's um, Pisces Cancer. Why can I think of a Pisces Cancer? Scorpio. Oh, it might be a Scorpio because it, it got stuck there. I could not think of it. I... And you'll see it doesn't happen to me. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Okay, let's see. What we have here? Oh, we have a little boy. They might be acting like a little boy, or they, they might have more of a, um, a, a kidding around type of energy. You know, like they're very playful, very funny, like to um, make jokes. But they're dead serious. But that might be their personality. They're coming towards you. And they're not sure how you're going to actually react. Because it seems like you've got a lid on your cup here. And you're not letting them in. But they are very charming. Okay, then we have the Pisces energy here. And that's um, waiting. Waiting for the right timing. And also seeing things in a new perspective. Okay, let's clarify these. Let's see here. Why do we have the four? Now, someone definitely wants a commitment. They're looking for long term. They're looking for the house, the family, everything. Temperance. And they're being very patient. Sagittarius energy. They want to make sure they come in correctly. Okay, why do we have the Knight of Wands? Ooh. All right, we have the Death card. Ending for a new beginning. Hmm. They want to come back, but they can't. You're not going to allow them back the same way. Because look at this mother. Is The baby wants to get back. It, the child wants to get back in the womb and she's saying no she's pregnant again and she's saying you <laughs> you can't come back you you know this you have to come back you know different changed <laughs> so this, i might be saying this is too long of a time that maybe it won't take someone back well anyway scorpio energy endings new beginnings transformation what about this queen of cups oh yeah Ten of Pentacles, commitment. This person really wants a new beginning, a commitment with you. And also, I think they might be doing quite well financially. And what about this hangman? Okay, we have here the Nine of Wands. They know that you're a little defensive. You're not going to just let them in. But you will, um, they know your fear and you will think about it. And that's what you're doing here with the um, hangman. You're thinking about it. Okay, and then we have here the Six of wands so this is a victory this is plant and seed something new is starting here so this just might work out for you guys this person comes in with the truth tells you the truth opens up to you because they didn't do that in the past there's a good chance that this might work okay let's see what the words are okay we have here the king of pentacles what's going on with the king of pentacles Meaning, pleasure, expose. Okay, so you guys going to meet up for pleasure? This might get exposed. If someone's trying to hide it from someone, it will be, they'll know about it. They'll find out about it. Someone's going to find out about it. Okay, now let's see. <clears throat> what about the Queen of Wands? Ooh, a tower. Aries Scorpio energy never admitted. Wow. Something's going to come out. Something is definitely being exposed here. And Aries Scorpio energy, and they never admitted something. Maybe how they cared about it, but they never admit something, and it's going to be exposed here. Okay, what about this page of wands? <clears throat> Someone wants to speak, though. My throat is bothering me. Is it fear? lying okay see someone is afraid something's going to be exposed 
someone like their fear that maybe they're going to get caught lying and you might ask them or they might ask you whichever way this goes is it is it something okay what about this page of swords the spy guy spy girl we have serious want okay someone's sincere and they want to be serious <clears throat> Okay, and they're going to they're gonna express that to you. Okay, what about this King of Cups? Spying. Past life. Apart. Okay, now, since you guys been apart, they've been spying. And I think someone is coming to the conclusion that you guys were together in a past life. Okay, what about this Queen of Cups? That's why they have a lot of love for you. Because, you know, I said this sort of feels familiar or something. It's probably with past life. That's what it felt like here. So we have here drama, cheater, likely. Okay, so there might be some, there might be likely drama because someone cheated. I'm going to put it that way. You guys can rearrange them any way you want. If it's better for you. Okay, now, what about this Knight of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands? Prince or Princess Charming. Mature. Sharing. Obsessed. Money. Okay, so one is mature and obsessed. And they might actually be sharing their money. Let me get a thing on the money here. So we get... Ooh, money for a house. So maybe someone wants to go in on a house with you. All right. Now what about this Queen of Cups? Surprise. Breakup. Love. S someone really loved you and they're surprised about the breakup. It really shocked them. Okay, so now... Let's see what signs you might be dealing with. What are the signs for cancer? Let's see what signs are coming up. Leo. Scorpio. Virgo. Taurus. Leo and Pisces. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. So we have Leo, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, and Pisces. And now for the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get the initials for first and last name, and someone um, also has a middle name, you know the middle name, get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. Let's see what we have. Q. G O I H K Z Y K F and Q. All righty. So the letters we have for you today are Q H O I H K Z Y K F Q. Now for the names. Let's see what names want to come. What are the names? What are the names? So let's see. We have Fanu. Fanu. P-H-A-N-U-E-L. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. And then we have Tamika. T-A-M-I-C-K-A. -A. We have Willie. Cheryl with an S. Janine. J-E-A-N-I-N-E. -E. Harish. H-A-R-I-S-H. T, T E E, Clara, C L A R A, Falan, 
P-H-E-L-A-N. Um, Tammy. Carla. Vigio, V-I-G-G-O. And Sandra. Okay. So we have 13. Okay, guys, those are the names. Now remember, these are general readings, not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, check your other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. And even if it does resonate, you could check your other placements um, to put them all together. Get a really in-depth reading that way. And you'll be surprised what comes out. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.